man. I knew it. What is it, Miss Bridget? You forgot your new roommate's coming today. Oh. That's today? Yes. And you better be nice to her. I'll be nice to her. Relax, okay? What's her name again? Her name is Candace, and you better be nice to her. I'll be nice to her, okay? As long as she doesn't be a pain in the neck. Look, I noticed you have trouble with a lot of roommates. Then why don't you let me have my own room? Because your insurance doesn't pay enough for you to have your own private room, so you're going to have to learn to get along with the roommate. She's coming today, so straighten up a little bit. And when your roommate comes, I want you to make her feel welcome. Okay, whatever. Don't whatever me. I mean it. Okay, okay. <sighs> Look. Mackenzie, I know it's hard for you to share a room with somebody. Because I know back at your home, you have your own room. But you have to learn to compromise. I said okay, will you quit sweating me? Mackenzie. That's her now. Remember what I told you. Okay. Hey. Oh, why did I have to get a boomy anyway? I'm coming. Hi. Hi. Um, are you Candace? Yes, I am. Okay, come on in. Dorms are right this way. <laughs> Did you see that video on YouTube? I know I love that video. Oh, Melissa Sled's videos are really cool. They really are. Girls, your new dorm mate is here. Girls, this is this is Candace, the one I told you about. Hi, Candace. Hi, Candace. Hey, Candace, who are you sharing a room with? She's sharing a room with Mackenzie. Oh, that's nice. Here, I'm going to get your room set up. Why don't you stay here and get to know the other girls? Okay, thanks. Hey, <laughs> you're sharing a room with Mackenzie? Yeah, which one of you is Mackenzie? Mackenzie's in you, her, or should I say, your room. Oh, well, I can't wait to meet her. I've never shared a room before, so having a room may, might be fun. Not when you share with Mackenzie. Why is that? Because she's always criticizing people. She... She does? Yeah, I mean, she always finds something wrong with somebody. Yeah. She thinks she's better than everybody. That's why so many people don't want to share a room with her. Okay, I know I don't know you guys, but I think you're exaggerating. Look, you just got here. You don't know Mackenzie. I think Mackenzie and I will get along fine. Okay, but don't say we didn't warn you. We like you. We're just trying to, you know, warn you about her. Mackenzie finds something wrong with everybody. Yes, she does. Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know Mackenzie, so I can't really... Oh, so you don't believe us? You don't know us either. Well, I don't know who to believe. Are we okay? It really will be. So how is this place? This place is pretty cool. Yeah, it's a really neat, neat place. Yeah, it really is. So you guys have Wi-Fi here? Yeah, we do. It's so cool. Once you get the password, you'll be able to go on anytime you want. That's so cool. Um, Candace, honey, your room's ready. I'll come take you. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Okay, and good luck. Thanks, but I really don't think I'll be needing it. I feel so bad for her. Yeah, me too. Okay, Candace, your bed is over here, honey. Thanks. Okay, I'll leave you two alone to get to know each other. Mackenzie, remember what we talked about. Okay, okay. 
Dinner will be at 6, so be ready, okay? Okay. Hi. I'm Candace. Yeah, well, you know who what my name is. You heard Br Miss Bridget say it like a million times. Right. Well, it's nice to meet you. I'm glad we're going to be roommates. Yeah. Weren't you wearing a necklace? Yeah, I took it off. I didn't really want to wear it. So, um, where do you live? I mean, when you're not in this school. I live in New Jersey. Oh, really? I live in New Jersey. Where in New Jersey do you live? Like, I'm trying to be it, okay? Okay, I'll leave you alone then. Do you like my stuffed lamb? Did you make it yourself? No, my mom made it for me when she was when I was a baby. Well, I've had it, the lamb, since I was a baby. It's special to me because, well, my mom's dead now. I just live with my dad. And he sent me here because he was too... Nobody wants to hear your life story, okay? Oh. And I don't care how sentimental that lamb is to you. Isn't that kind of baby is to carry a stuffed animal? What are you talking about? We're only 12. Doesn't matter. Okay, whatever. Just leave me alone while I read. Okay, well, I'll just go on my iPad. You have an iPad? Yeah, I do. I like to go on YouTube. What do you like to watch on YouTube? Some of the super girls and everything. It's a really cool iPad. It's a really cool channel. That's for little kids. No, it isn't. I happen to like it. Whatever. <sighs> Maybe the girls will write about her. What did you say? Nothing. I'll leave you alone so you can read. Can I go on your iPad and check my Facebook? I'd rather you didn't. I don't let anybody touch my iPad. Oh, you're so childish. Okay, whatever. I'm childish. I'm childish because I want to protect my stuff. Are you giving me an attitude? No. Good. I'll just read. I don't want to touch your iPad anyway. Why did you ask? What? Nothing. Mom! Kansas, wake up! Wake up and shut up. I'm trying to sleep. I'm sorry. I was just having a bad dream. Well, have it a little quieter. I'm trying to sleep. Jeez, aren't you a little old to be having bad dreams anyway? Sorry. I'll go right back to sleep. Good, because I need my beauty rest. I mean, I'm already pretty enough as it is, but, you know, I still need my beauty rest. Now go to sleep.
Hey, Kansas. Hey. What's wrong? You were right about Mackenzie. All she does is criticize me. She criticized my stuffed land that my mom made me before she died. She even yelled at me because I had a bad dream last night. We told you she. Okay, you told me. Isn't it bad enough I have to deal with her? Maybe you should talk to Miss Bridget about it. Yeah, like she would listen to me. You don't know Mrs. Bridget. She could be a really good listener. Or she could at least talk to um, Mackenzie for you. Yeah, when I shared a room with her, with Mackenzie, Miss Bridget was able to make it okay. Yeah, I th I really think you should talk to Miss Bridget. Okay. Maybe I will. When? Right now. Think she's going to do it? Hope so. Okay, Candace, what did you want to talk to me about? Mackenzie, can you... No. I want to talk to you and Mackenzie. Oh, okay. What seems to be the problem? I want to say this to Mackenzie, but I want to make sure you're here because I need a witness. Uh-oh, what's going on? Mackenzie, did I do something to you? Why do you have to ask me that? Just answer the question. Did I do anything to you? No, why? Because you hardly know me and you've been mean to me. In fact, everybody who shared a room with you has complained about you. They warned me about you. I was stupid to give you a chance. Okay, I think it's a little harsh um, to say, Candace. No, it's not, Mrs. Budget. Since the moment I got here, can't, uh, Mackenzie's been nothing but mean to me, and I'm tired of it. She got mad at me because I had a bad dream. Because I wanted to sleep. Well, I'm sorry, but my bad dream's are my fault. Did you know I lost my mother? She died in my arms before. She did? Yeah, and I have nightmares about it. And you yell at me because of that. Well, I didn't know. Well, maybe you wouldn't know if you asked. And you made fun of my stuffed lamb, which is very special to me because my mom made it for me before she died. It's all I have left of her. And I like to watch Seven Supergirls on YouTube because it distracts me from the fact that I don't have a mom. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to criticize you so much. Do you ever wonder why you don't, why people should um, request that they don't be your roommate? Because you put them down. You know, I know Candace just got here, Mackenzie, but she has a point. You got to stop putting people down. I'm s um Miss Bridget, can I talk to um Candace alone? Fine. But I have ears, so it better be nice. What do you need to say to me? I'm really sorry for criticizing you. I really am. You are? Yeah. I just do it because I feel insecure about myself. And you're right. I don't know you, and I shouldn't have judged you. And I'm sorry. And I'm going to apologize to everybody else that I've judged, too. You're really sorry? I really am. Will you forgive me? I guess so. Can we shake on it? Yeah. Friends? Friends. <laughs>